Tomorrow, June 25th, you have one event scheduled. Do tax return from 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. Can you just move it to 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. instead? All right, I've moved do tax return to 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. tomorrow. Watch this. I just asked my AI voice agent to reschedule a meeting and boom, it was automatically updated on my Google Calendar. It can also fetch the latest AI news from Eleven Labs and pull the top story on Hacker News. And the best part, I set all of this up in under two minutes. Eleven Labs just released 11.ai, a new project and platform that lets you create AI voice assistants that connect to tools like Google Calendar, Perplexity and Slack using the MCP protocol. The setup is ridiculously simple. Just a few clicks and you've got a fully working assistant. In this video, I will show you how to set it up, walk through what it can do and explore the different parameters you can tweak to personalize your assistant. So let's dive in. To access it, you will need to go on 11.ai. So it's not on their common website, 11labs.com. You will have to go on that specific website. And this is what it says. So it says that it can plan your day, research customers with perplexity, manage linear tickets and message your Slack team all with just your voice. And it does all of this with their MCP support. So we'll see later what that implies. And you can also choose from 5,000 voices. So of course they are using all of their voices that are directly accessible inside 11.ai right here. So I guess you can also choose your own voice, which would be pretty interesting for a personal assistant. But yeah, let's see what, uh, what is next. So if you click here on next, you will then see personalize your assistant. So here you can give it a name. We will leave 11 for now because I don't really have any inspiration of a better name. And then here you can select like a voice. So what I realize is if you already use three voices, like the total voices on 11lab.com, you won't necessarily be able to choose a new voice right here. So I would just go there and delete one, which is what I did. And now right here, you can select voice. You can listen to the voices. So we can select, for example, this one. And then you can click here on create 11. So now we are creating our AI assistant. And as you can see, the interface is like really, really simple. It's not like retail AI or VAPI or like having millions of options. It's really simplified and easy. And what you can do is you can click on start a call. Good evening, Donation. Anything I can tackle for you? Oh, <laughs> that's a really British accent. How are you doing? Well, I do aim for a certain charm, so I'm glad you noticed. As for how I'm doing, I'm feeling quite sprightly and red. Yeah, so you can directly talk to it like this, but that's not really what's, what's really interesting. What's interesting is all of these integrations that they offer. And for now, it's pretty limited, I have to say. We have like, what, like five different uh, integrations, but I guess they are planning to add more and probably later on, you will be able to add your own MCP server. So if I want to connect with Google Calendar, I can click here on the plus and then I can click on connect with Google and then automatically choose my email address. So here I will pick this one because it's a pretty dummy address where there's not much things happening. And that's it, that it's, it's connected right now. So now you can see that here we are connecting with Google Calendar. So I've just clicked here on the, on the Google Calendar and here we can see what permissions we want to do. So if we click on always ask, it will always show under something to say, uh, do you want to approve it or not? Uh, no, if we say no approval, it won't even ask anything and it will just automatically do the, the thing that it wants. And here, if you click on tools, you can see all of the different tools. And if you click right here, you can see the different options as well. So as it's an MCP, you can't, I don't think you can enable or disable specific options. So here you are just enabling for, for like everything. So now if I click on start a call, I can talk to it and like create an event and, and so on. But let's see what else we have. So here on the top right, we have this button right here to add some more integrations. So here we can add uh, perplexity. So this is something I've done before. So I click here on the plus and that's it. Like that's the only thing that you need to do. You can do the same with Hacker News as well. So you can also add with Slack and Linear. Well, I, I'm not gonna do it now because I don't really have the, the account and stuff, but I guess that's kind of like the similar thing to send a message, set a status and, and all of this because it's connecting directly with the MCP of Slack. 
And if I click on add integrations to your agent, at the top, you can choose the voice of the agent, the agent language. So there is like even different languages, which is pretty insane because you can probably do all of these things in other languages as well. Then you can add some custom behaviors. This is a bit similar to, to, G to GPD-4. And inside integration, you have the default integrations. But then what you have, which is really exciting, is this custom MCP server. So here you can connect MCP server because there is this GitHub repo right here and there is like hundreds of other repo for MCP, but this one is actually pretty good. It has like 55,000 stars. And if you scroll, you can see how many different tools you can connect to that voice agent. And there are so many things that you can connect it with. So you have, for example, Appify, which is a lot of different pre-built cloud tools that you can use to extract information from websites, starts, uh, different actors and so on to like really automate your work. And then you have others like, for example, HubSpot. So this is like the one that you have right here where you can directly connect it with the CRM, asking questions about your clients. And all of that is done with really minimum setup. So it's actually pretty crazy how much things is going to come with this. Uh, there is like other tools like Vapi that helps to also integrate MCP. So it's not really new, but having this inside 11 labs is an uh, interesting move from, from them. So now let's see what happens when we are calling like, for example, the, the Google Calendar. So if I click here on start a call. Hey there, Donatian. Got something I can handle for you? Uh, yeah, can you tell me what event I have tomorrow? Sure thing. I can list your events for tomorrow. By default, I'll grab up to 20 events. Does that sound right? Yeah, perfect. Yeah, so now I have to approve it. Tomorrow, June 25th, you have one event scheduled. Due tax return from 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. Anything else I can help with today? Um, yeah, can you just move it to 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. instead? No problem. I can move the due tax return event to 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. tomorrow. All right, I've moved due tax return to 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. tomorrow. Anything else you need? Um, yeah, I want you to create an event for tomorrow at 8 p.m., which is I need to call my grandma for one, ha Got it. For one hour. Okay, I'll create an event titled Call My Grandma for tomorrow, June 25th from 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. Perfect. The Call My Grandma event is now on your calendar for tomorrow from 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. Is there anything else I can help you with? Uh, yeah, I would like you to do some search on perplexity. I want you to search about what are the recent AI news for the voice space in specifically for 11 labs. Okay, I'll run a search on perplexity for recent AI news developments in the voice space, specifically for 11 labs. Just a heads up, this might take a few seconds. Okay, so 11 labs has been making some big moves in the AI voice space. They launched 11AI, which is a voice-first AI assistant, and they've also released 11 version 3, which is their most expressive text-to-speech model yet. They've also been expanding their product line with things like real-time interactive voice agents and AI-powered dubbing. Plus, they secured a bunch of funding to keep pushing the boundaries of voice AI. Did you want me to dig into any of this further? Uh, no, but can you tell me what's the top article in Hacker Rank? I can check Hacker News for the top stories. The top story on Hacker News right now is switching PIP to UV in a dockerized flask, Django app. Looks like it was posted by Tosh. Want me to grab any comments or details on that? Uh, no, that's it. Thank you. You're welcome. Glad I could help. Let me know if you need anything else. So as you saw, it was pretty smooth for Google Calendar to like move the event and create the other event. It created two events, but I think it's because I was kind of like mumbling twice and I also click twice on approve. So I think that was kind of like a glitch in there, but that's uh, that's something not so important. And also the next step was to test the um, perplexity. So it really did the research, spent a couple of seconds to search and then give me the results. So that was actually working pretty well. And then finally the top stories for Hacker News was also working pretty well. I haven't tested with some custom MCPs that you can find right here, but if you want me to do that, 
another video let me know in the comments which mcp you want me to try so we could try for example hubspot or some others so le let me know in the comments and i will do like another video about this so i will post it in the school community as well that you can join link in the description now 11 ai is still in early experimental stage so some features like linking it to a phone number are not available yet but it's already incredibly promising and it's clear that 11 labs is aiming to play a major role in the voice assistant space not just providing awesome voices if you want me to make another video where i play around with custom mcp server linked with 11 ai let me know in the comment also, if you like this type of content, please leave a thumb up and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.